It's a very exciting day here in the fish room. We have our first wholesale order. I'm testing out some wholesalers for the store that'll be opening in the next few months. And most of this stuff will probably be available on the website as well. Although I did order a bunch of stuff for myself as well. Let's get started. We'll start with the smaller box first. Let's see what's in here. Looks like just one giant bag of orange shrimp. Not sure why this whole box was for 50 shrimp, but they look to be doing well in there. This box will definitely be more exciting. I guess they put it, all the fish in this box except for the shrimp. First, oh, these are the uh, blue marble angelfish that I ordered for myself. These guys look good. Kind of milky water. It's interesting how much water they gave for 50 shrimp and then for seven angels they gave this much water. And you could tell it's already fouling, so that's weird. And here we got the blue velvet shrimp. These I did order for myself to kind of get a, a colony started. I got 25 of these. You can already tell in the bag, they look really good. Everything appears to be cold, which is concerning. And it's probably because there's an ice pack in here. Um, it's not that hot where I am right now. So I hope that didn't affect, you know, it, I think they're coming from Florida, so it's hot over there, I'm sure. These are the blue rams we got, the electric blue rams. You know, these guys I know like it warmer, so I'm gonna get these guys. I already have a tank set up with um, the water being between 82 and 84, so those guys will definitely appreciate that. I ordered 50 of these guys, so, oh, actually, sorry, 25 of these. I, I might end up keeping some, that's why I ordered so many, because I knew if I posted them for sale, I would definitely want them for myself as well. And another box of rams, or a bag of rams. Oh, these are a fish I've been wanting to play with for a while, the peacock gudgeons. These are nice size. Might be able to sex them out. Because I definitely want to breed these guys. We got 24 of these. And last in this box, we have 12 longfin calico bristlenose plecos. And the pattern looks good on them in the bag. I ordered 12 because, again, same thing. I knew I wanted to keep some for myself. These guys have nice long fins on them. All right, going to the last box. This last box, I'm assuming, are the dry goods that I ordered and some plants. I ordered a lot more plants than I got. Most of the plants, even though they put as available, I guess they sold out even though I placed the order pretty early when we got the list. The main thing I'm assuming in this box, yep, is the driftwood that I ordered. Uh, this is spider wood, one of my favorites to use. Kind of stuck in there. But this will probably be on the website and I'm assuming I'll probably steal a couple pieces to use for myself. And also this is uh, the red root floater. I have a lot of salvinia and frog bit that I sell, so I figured I'd add uh, the red root floater, kind of just bag like that. And no other plants, unfortunately, even though I did order a ton more, I guess with the craziness going on right now, they just are having shortages. All right, got the 25 electric blue rams going in. 
Now I actually had to float these guys. Normally I don't because I just plop and drop usually. But these guys were so cold because of the ice pack in there that I made sure that the temperature was somewhat similar because I'm putting them in 84 degrees. So they were much lower than that for sure. We'll give these guys some time to settle in and we'll check back on them later. We've got 50 orange shrimp going in. See, we got, looks like two down, unfortunately. Not bad out of 50. They're showing pretty good color for just being stressed out and shipped in a bag. You know, this nice orange adult here is one of the last ones I had left. I have three left in here. So I figured just add them all together. You gotta take out the two guys that are down. But if you look at the tank, it's an ideal setup for shrimp, uh, especially new shrimp that are shipped in. Uh, got a ton of algae on the side here. And you wanna make sure that the shrimp don't starve out. A lot of people either overfeed or underfeed their shrimp without knowing. I learned that the hard way. It's easy to underfeed when you have a tank set up like this for new shrimp. So this one has been sitting set up for three weeks, cycling. I've been putting a lot of Bacter AE in here. So there's, it doesn't look like it, but there's a ton of biofilm um, building up all on the surfaces of the glass, the substrate, the wood is brand new. So it's gonna, you know, decompose and they'll feed on that. But I have to keep an extra eye on the blue velvets that are going in here because we wanna make sure that they eat enough and they don't starve out. 25 blue velvets going in. And it looks like we have two down again, unfortunately. Besides the two down, they all look really great. The color on them is amazing for being, you know, just shipped and all that stress that goes along with it. I'm hoping that this colony starts breeding for me and then I could put these guys on the website as well. We got everybody in their quarantine tanks. We have the angelfish here and you can see the meds in the water. We have the aquarium co-op med trio that we use to quarantine here. Got the rams, the calico bristlenose. They turned out really good with their patterns. I'm happy with them. And the peacock gungeons. So these guys will quarantine at least two weeks before I even consider putting them on the website. We'll see how they do. Checking back in on these guys. They've been here a little over a week now and everyone has settled in nicely. We only had one casualty of the peacock gudgeons. Otherwise, everyone else is doing really great. You can see the angelfish here, I'm really happy with. You know, I originally ordered them just based on the name. I didn't see any pictures. And I like the variety in this line. I can't tell what I like more. You can see this one I think is my favorite one. It's got more of the blue versus the black coverage. But then I look at the one with the most black coverage, this guy here, and I really like that one too. So I, I think it'll be really fun to work with when I, you know, we'll see who pairs off and see they'll probably just throw a mix of high coverage versus low coverage with the black. I think both look really great. The electric blue rams are coloring up nicely here. You can see the nice electric blue pattern. The bristlenose sailed in nicely. I put the cave in to give them some cover. Something I figured out with the matten filters is that the plecos, you can actually, I think there's one in there right now. Yeah, you can see his fins there. So they like hiding in there with the high current, but then they get stuck behind, they go all the way down the tube and end up behind the filter. So I actually had to put sponge halfway so they can hang out in the tube, but they can't get stuck behind. So they have to come out the way they came in. So that was uh, a scary moment when I saw I only had six left and there were no bodies. I didn't know what happened. Just hide in behind the Madden filter here. I learned that also this way with all my uh, blue eyed lemons here, that half of them were behind this Madden filter. I really should have, in hindsight, put them in with the 
hydro sponge filters there. And the peacock gudgeons look really good as well. I want to put more cover in for them. I couldn't find anything, uh, you know, so I just put a bunch of plants in. I'm going to probably put more plants, but they've definitely settled in. They're not spooked anymore when I come up. They're eating well. So overall, I'm really happy with this wholesaler. Probably going to use them in the future for the store and for the online store as well. And I'll probably end up ordering stuff for myself for them. I see their lists and it's hard to not order stuff for myself. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.